Hello, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. And today is blog on bank holidays, whoops, bank runs, and bank tactics, and how to get prepared for S S <coughs> SHTF uh, finances. Now, we're going to have fun, boys and girls, because Uncle Al knows how to play dirty. First, chop up all your credit cards and consolidate into one card. And when you get a credit card, make sure it's the lowest fees possible. And second of all, you want that your checking account automatically pays it every month. Okay? Think about it. Every month, the one credit card is for major purchases. Every month, you automatically pay for it. Any bills accumulated on it, you pay it off right away. Uh, bank holidays, bank runs, and bank tactics. They're pushing us towards a cashless society, and a lot of people know, yeah, I'm Carl Tom, uh, that it's a bad no no. And it's a mark of the beast. Okay, they're going to chip us. So all you do is wave your hand or wave your forehead, and you buy stuff RFD chips. For tattoo, sign of the beast. Go ask Wes S. He did a live stream on it. Now, Uncle Alan's going to have fun. First thing, pay everything in cash. Second thing, don't listen to your government. I don't listen anyway. I'm just having fun. Throw poo at Democrats. Do not throw poo at Will Russell. He's a friend of ours. I'm trying to sway him over to being a, a independent because we'll never become a Republican, but the old Democrat Party is not the old Democratic Party. It's full of communists, Nazis, socialists, and kooks. So be independent, Will. Okay, and be sure to check out Will's channel tonight, um, uh, Will Russell, and please donate in some kind of cash form, and it's PayPal, and it's Will Russell, and pay me, then PayPal me. And then uh, please check out my channel, Uncle Al, aka Die Bullfrog 79, right down there. Okay? And like and subscribe. Now, here's Uncle Al's dirty tricks when he was rich. Now, Uncle Al's flat broken. I'm having the state and my relatives take care of me. Because Uncle Al lived through about three or four, I think that's three or four. S personal SHTFs and about beat up, had it, and sick. So, anyway, first thing is you want to make sure you only have one credit card hooked up to a checking account. Okay, once you get that, down that, make sure the checking account has $10,000 in it. That's your business checking account. It's hooked up to your credit card, automatic payments to the credit card for monthly payments and your monthly bills or whatever. It's not for going out to eat. It's not for trips. This is for business. Okay. Second thing you want to do is make sure that checking account always have 10 grand. Always. Okay. It's a business account. You're not screw this up with your personal account. So that's two checking account. You've got one business and one personal. You're supposed to have seven. Okay. Checking accounts. Uh, first two, no interest. Last five interest. Okay. You want 10 grand in a passport savings. Now a lot of people kind of look at me, but Uncle Alan, is that, that's kind of old fashioned. And you're all dipshits. Reason why we had passport because it's a building block of all the other savings accounts. And over the last, I think, 40 years, we've been screwing it up so bad that we lost interest rates and we lost retirement funds and we lost a lot of things because people didn't understand savings. Uncle Al understands savings and he lost several accounts because of you guys goofing up. 
Okay, you want 10 grand in a personal savings account, passbook. That you'll never see again. You tuck it away, you put it there, just log in all your um, interests on the sa on the passbook saving, plus every month you put $25 in. Okay, understand that. Rest of your life, you don't touch it. It's a building block foundation of your house financial house so you never ever touch it i don't care if you die you have a family emergency you never touch that account okay your goal if you're young if you're 20 your goal is to reach a hundred thousand dollars save all your cash this is not for house this is working capital you want to save a hundred thousand dollars now i don't know what Hubble's cat's doing with his money. <clears throat> Buying toys or doing weird stuff. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Next thing. Carefully. You want to have cash on hand. Now our friend, we can't mention his name and he's hiding someplace. But you want if you're in a red state, you want now, because I've been dueling the, well, I'm a calculator, I need a calculator. Yeah, you ever need to calculate, you can't ever find it. You gotta reach in the drawer, oh yeah. You get the calculator out, figure it out. Now every red state is need $2,000. Thank you, Trump, thank you, Democrats, because of the shutdown. Blue states, double that. Now it's $4,000 cash just to survive a couple of months in case something goes blah, 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 with your local government because they went nuts. Okay. Again, you have your $10,000 in your passbook savings account. You're not going to take that. You have at home someplace on a sealed, safe, hidden. Don't tell your girlfriend or wife, family, this is your money, four grand or two grand if you live in a red state. To make you survive through the rough patches. Um, I had a brain fart, sorry. Okay, so you got your cash and you got your uh, ready cash because you have to pay everything out of pocket. Okay, never use a credit card. Always pay in cash. Always. Don't trust nobody with your personal finances. I don't care if it's your girlfriend. Look at West Wind. He got ripped off because the person he thought he loved ripped him off. So never tell your personal information on finances to your loved one, girlfriend, anybody. That's your business. Okay? So you're building everything back up. Then go out and gotta redo everything because he's still in debt. And if you want, you can help out Uncle Al right down there. Here's my PayPal account. A small donation it will be welcome and help out Uncle Al. Now Uncle Al still got hospital bills I gotta still pay. I've been paying this bill for the last I think six years. And I got it whittled down, but it's taking me this long and I'm getting old and I can't do odd jobs. And then I also volunteer to help out the food bank. And they're kind of looking at me like, why didn't you get SSI? And I'm saying, I'm still waiting. I lost my paperwork. Or put me as the wrong race. I'm not gay. I'm not black. I'm not dead. Okay, I hate SSI. Okay, kids. Sorry, this is a long one. But anyway. Think about that, all right? You got bank financing. This is FHTF. A few shout outs to West Wind. Go watch his channel. Savage Survival. Really like your stuff. Um, I got to leave more con con comments, but I keep forgetting things. And also, I'm going a little tired. Wolfie Taurus, I hope you join our group tonight and leave a comment. And I grabbed the wrong papers. Uh, Bethany, Corsair Trainers. If you're beginning a uh, food storage, check out Corsair Trainers. Um, 
they're doing uh, Coursera trainers for trainer. Um, the Dream for Beginners, seven day, uh, 72 hour food, something easy for the next meal system. I'm going to be tired on that. Walter Davis, Strong Adventures, The Revolting Man, Native Tears, I think I did say Savage Spinal so. and 3D Tripper, uh, River Christine, High Can Deep, Hubble's Cat, Random Lady, uh, Bethany, my favorite little gamer, check out her channel, and try to include. Uh, thank you, Liberty Garden, for the donation. Thank you, um, Chris McPhee, for the donation. It helps because Uncle Alan's old, tired, and little nuts. Uh, Cindy John LS. I remember. Um, I think I sent LS uh, food storage. Or take your time. You want the basic. Remember, this month is rice month. So just get rice. Next month, we'll work on beans or pasta. Okay? So don't panic and don't freak out. Just basic things that you want for the year. These don't rot because I made a list and wrote down everything. So anyway, I'll catch you later, boys and girls. Sorry this took over 10 minutes, but it's important. And I'll be back with my food storage videos next time. Bye.